What do you know about introverts? For those of you who are more extroverted, the quiet nature and aloofness of introverts may seem very mysterious and even intimidating sometimes. So to learn more about what's really going on in their minds, here are five harsh things introverts want you to know. Number one, we dislike small talk. Do you enjoy engaging in casual conversations? While it may be something that comes naturally for you, small talk can often feel tiring and draining for us. For this reason, introverts may sometimes zone out, disengage, or avoid small talk altogether when it comes to it. Instead, you may find us choosing to engage in deep conversation with one or two people. Number two, we like writing more than speaking. Have you noticed your introverted friend getting flustered during an unexpected phone call or speaking like they're at a loss for words? Us introverts tend to work through things by contemplating about them on our own without interruptions. Because of this, we find it very uncomfortable, stressful, and even exhausting when we're put in a situation where we need to quickly and clearly articulate and express exactly what we're thinking and feeling. Number three, we value time alone to get things done. What do introverts do on their own if they're not socializing? Despite what you may believe, introverts are actually bursting with ideas and projects that they want to explore. It's just that we like to explore them when in a quiet and safe space away from others. This is why we value our time alone so much and why having others intrude in that space can really derail our ideas, train of thought, and put us in a bad mood. Number four, we are selective about our friends. Does it seem like we don't care about anyone? Despite our aloofness, introverts can care very deeply. While we do appreciate social connections, we tend to be most comfortable and affectionate with our closest friends. Instead of forming shallow connections, we're much more interested in building deep connections with those whom we feel safe around. After all, it takes time for us to open up and blossom around the right people. So don't feel offended if we seem very guarded at first. And number five, we don't need fixing. Ever tried to help an introvert only to be rebuffed? Perhaps you tried to offer tips to be more outgoing, invite them to a lot of social events or encourage them to speak up. While you may be doing it with good intentions, introverts do not need fixing. Like with everyone else, we just wanna be who we are without being judged for it. Ultimately, we enjoy having a few, but very close friends and just wanna thrive in our own space and to live life on our own terms. Did you relate to any of these points? Let us know in the comments below. If you found this video helpful, be sure to like, subscribe, and share this video with those who might benefit from it. And don't forget to hit the notification bell icon to get notified whenever Psych2Go posts a new video. The references and studies used in this video are added in the description below. We'll see you in our next video. Take care.